one is day two of Cinque Terre hiking. As we promised, we are very early out on the trail. It's 6 a.m. now and it's, I think it's the earliest that we ever been out on the trail. Yeah. Um, but because of the hot sun and hot temperature, we have to do that. So we'll see if it helps today. And today we hope to get to Bonasola, which is in 13 kilometers. Yeah, we want to do more today than yesterday, hopefully, because we start earlier. So yeah, let's without further ado start the day, <laughs> so we have time to do that. The place was okay, quite narrow for the tent, but with the wood it became better. We didn't feel like any differences at all when we were on flat surface, so we think wood helped a lot, definitely. Also yesterday at the dusk we heard some wild boars uh, sounds, you know, yeah. like very specific. And Dima decided to block all the entrances, <laughs> like from three sides, with the wood and branches, stuff like that. So yeah, so we were very safe and secluded <laughs> today, but nobody disturbed us, no animal came across, so it was fine. Also forget to say that we didn't have any breakfast today, we've eaten anything, just like some nuts and water. So we don't know how it will work because normally we prefer to have breakfast, like solid one. And yeah, we don't know how much we can survive without food. But this was the sacrifice. We started early, we just wrapped everything up quickly and got on the trail right away. So that's that. So we got to the uphill for today. It was fast because we already did the most part yesterday. This one is less higher than the previous one yesterday we did. It's 300 meters and yesterday we did 500 meters. So it wasn't that extreme and that hard. But these directions are very confusing. Like we, uh, there are a lot of them, there are a lot of trails, but they don't really state the villages as much and um, they have very specific names. So you really have to know the names where you had to have the good map or GPS as we are using. So now we're checking where we are exactly. Because if you turn the wrong direction, then you won't, be, won't go back. We've been enjoying these little moments now out of direct sunlight. An extreme sweat. And this is a blessing because it's already starting to get warmer. Again. With this extreme heat conditions, some crazy thoughts came to our mind like the, lately. Like for example, it would be great to hike at night, but that's absolutely impossible as you may know, like for for and video footage, that is the light is everything. So Unfortunately, we have to deal with that and continue hiking at daylight, but that's just a joke. There is some magic in walking like this in the streets when there is nobody, nothing is working still and it's so quiet and peaceful and yeah, it feels so special to wake up early. At this point we decided to cheat a little bit and to go around the first mountain 
not to ascend it actually. Because we want to do the second mountain, we want to do the biggest distance in the first half of the day, when it's cooler and better to walk. So in order to do that mountain, because we see that on the other mountain there are more viewpoints, stuff like that, and here there is just the forest, we already did this kind of trail, so we want to do that. Let's see if it turns out well. For now we have the easy two kilometer stretch uh, to the forest path again. We still will need to ascend the mountain but not as high as the other one. This is of course better to do in the end of the day but we are doing this now, this is a stretch. And yeah, and the sun starts to hit our faces already and the sweat is going on. And also the hunger starts to knock on our stomachs. So <laughs> these are bad news. Well. We'll go as far as we can and yeah, please do one mountain. The route is very flat for now and it feels like we are on a standby mode. Waiting for the challenge to start. Yeah. Yes. But getting really hungry now. Think that there is nobody who takes this trail. We're gonna be the first people. There is the sign, but this is the bad side of unpopular paths that sometimes they are very remote. There are snakes here. We saw one hiding in the leaves. So we need to be careful not to step yeah. on it. that many years ago this path actually was some kind of route because we see some huge bricks and rocks laid down in order in some parts of the of the path and yeah it's really nice the first part was really remote and not that good but this is getting better and it's, it's beautiful forest There are a lot of small vineyards in this hilly town, small town at the coast and we see that there are lots of people working now at them, probably taking advantage of the clouds that came out. These are the steps for a very tiny people, you can see, you have to skip through them. <laughs> Just 
we bought some tasty food in the local shop some ice cream cherry ice cream of course peaches and this is the pizza margarita which we don't know if we will save for later or eat now but yeah breakfast time finally at 9:30 a.m and this is pizza this is a very fat pizza i think you see like this thick uh, this thick base and there's lots and lots of butter oil <laughs> Is it tasty? Yeah. Good? Okay. I'm gonna try to eat it now and now we have cereals left from yesterday also. Okay. Let's eat. This is obviously not a pizza, margarita in classical way. It's a focaccia that they like to do with everything, like their bread. But this one is very fatty, very oily. It feels like it's been fried on a sardine that it wasn't done in the oven for some reason like that's that's very strange <laughs> too only for me now we had a good rest here at the seaside in Anso and now we decide what trail to take next to Bonasola. We see that there is a cycling town going straight to Bonasola. And our GPS tells us that this is the quickest way. And we ourselves wanted to take it, but now we see that it goes partly in the tunnel, partly outside, and we don't know only of which parts are bigger. So, and we don't like the tunnels. Me personally, I hate them <laughs> to be in the close space. So we want to take the alternative route. There is a path, probably it will be more challenging because this is like too straight, but maybe more enjoyable and with the views, we hope so, right? Yeah, so we'll go there, check it out there. noticed about the Italian villages and little small places like this one for example and the differences with the Spanish villages that we walk through is that they're actually populated by local people so they actually live there have their gardens and know vineyards and you see that everything is kind of home like feeling right it's not as touristic even though there are quite a lot of people who are visiting these places and we believe that it's quite popular destination too but they're still living there and they're still conserving it like it was some time ago so it feels very nice and like it a lot so this is one of our discoveries here in Italy Here, as this was goes close to the coastline, we finally gotta enjoy a fresh sea breeze. There is a wind coming from the sea, and this is very refreshing. This helps a lot. Also, the route seems to go quite on the level, like without any heavy uphills or downhills. So that is good.
some clouds coming from the sea now and we can hear a bit of thunder going on there but don't really know if it's gonna end up raining or not so but we're still on our way going to some viewpoints and then to Banasawa We finished our trail for today. It's 2.30 p.m. We've been looking around, scouting the places, possible camp spot. But we see there is not enough perspective. The places are quite hard, they're very populated. There are lots of houses and private properties. And yeah, so it's quite hard to find the wild camping spots. Also, we feel very sweaty and dirty. We want to take a shower very badly. We see that there is actually a campsite just over this mountain in the next village, Levanto. Uh, now we're in Bonasola as we plan to get to here. And in Levanto there are some campings to choose from. So we think to go there to wash everything, to take a shower and to have some rest there. But we still have time. Also it's very convenient because there are trains actually. In this Cinque Terre region you can get from point to point, from village to village on the train. This is very, this is great we think, right? Yeah. If you need to, if you don't want to do the whole trail or want to be in the bars or visit the villages, that's great. So we're gonna take that for one stop only and yeah, we'll see how it is there and we'll continue on tomorrow. Probably we'll show you today the campsite. Yeah. So yeah, see you there. So we found our place for the night here at the Cinque Terre camping campsite. So now it's already 5.30 p.m. There is less and less time to recover for us. We will rest in here for the rest of the day and yeah, go to the shower as quickly as possible because we are so sticky now and so sweaty. Well, and we'll see you tomorrow guys. Good night! Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking and adventure videos. Leave us a comment below to share your experience or ask any questions. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date and visit our website walkingedgeworld.com for the detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Hope you are having a great day and we will see you very soon in our next video. Bye!